everyone. My name is Diva. I am a reseller on Poshmark, Macari, and eBay. I work full time and I'm also a single mom. Um, so anyway, in this video, we are going over kind of a 90 day recap of what sold out of a 25 piece thread up box that me and Claire unboxed. Um, you'll be able to see that video. I, I will link it in the comment box below. Um, before I get into this, I just want to thank everyone who has been watching my channel and I want to welcome all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for supporting me. And this has been a long journey, this YouTube journey. And I feel sometimes like I'm not getting anywhere with it. Um, but seeing you guys comment and um, seeing everybody subscribe and, and overall like the videos um, really gives me a lot of encouragement. And um, I just wanted to personally thank all of you. Um, so yeah, <laughs> we're going to get into this and um, yeah, let's find out if I made any money on this 25 piece thread up lot. Okay. All right. So the first thing that we're going to look at here, you'll probably see things pop on the screen. I'm trying this a different way. Um, this is a J. Crew factory pink paisley tiered maxi skirt. I used all of the <laughs> keywords in it. It was really adorbs um, and a brand new a tag. Um, so anyway, it sold on eBay for like um, $20, I want to say, $25. And I want to say somebody like gave me an offer for it because um, I had it listed at like $30. But yeah, so I ended up making $19.37 on it um, after fees. And I do have people pay shipping on eBay um, as well. Um, it's usually up to $8.99. So <clears throat> just keep that in mind. <laughs> All right, next was this really warm and like soft and cozy Vince dress. Um, it's a sweater dress. Um, and it was this cream color, really cute. Uh, I believe it was extra small, um, but anyway, it sold for $30 on Poshmark. Um, I want to say that I sent an offer to someone because I had it listed for $40. you all I don't even remember anymore. I just see what it sold as, and that's kind of what I keep at, <laughs> keep track of now because I do this such um, lowly part-time now. Um, so yeah, I, after all said and done, I ended up making $25 and 71 cents. And remember, this is before Poshmark changed their fees. So the fees were all on me and yeah. All right. This next dress was a loft. Um, it was a linen, it was called, um, a weekend curfew kind of dress. Um, it had a very like specific name to it and it was really pretty. Um, I think it was a size 10 or something, but I would have kept it if I was, um, if it looked good on me and it did not. Um, I'm not, I do not look good in like resort wear. Um, but yeah, it apparently sold on Poshmark for $34. I believe that they actually bought it at that price. Um, I probably got an offer for, it. I got a lot of interest in it. Um, but yeah, I ended up making $27.20 on that. All right, this next item I had listed um, <laughs> for a really high price, like $50 or something. Um, it is a Theory 100% silk dress and it's like X extra small. Um, the tag on it was like, um, like falling off or whatever. So I listed it as is showing people that and uh, this one lady was like really determined in buying it. She sent me offer for like a whole week and I was like, I really want $50 for this. It was in great condition in theory. But after a while I was like, okay, this lady really wants this. I'm going to make a quick sale. $25 is much higher than the $2 that I spent per piece. So I took it and um, after all said and done, I made $17 and two cents. All right, this next item uh, was an Anthropology Maeve. Um, it's like a faux leather kind of, uh, not capri, but like cropped pants. They're really cute. They fit me. I tried them on. I was like, these are adorable. Not really my style though. Um, I'm short, so yeah, it makes me look like really, really short. Um, but anyway, <laughs> they also have a specific name as well, which... I can't even remember now. Um, I don't write this stuff down. So this is just all on the fly. Um, the only thing I have are like profits that I made. But anyway, um, after all said and done, it sold for $18. I believe somebody sent me an offer. 
A lot of these are Poshmark. That's primarily where I listed everything um, at the beginning of this. And yeah, I made $14.40. All right, the next item was not a very big sale. Um, it was a J. Crew polka dot skirt, size two. It was adorable. Wish it fit me. Um, but yeah, it sold for $10. And um, that was their asking price. I ended up making $7.97. I was figured I'd take it and run. Um, but yeah, it was a really cute little mini skirt. I loved it. Almost kept it for myself. All right, last but not least is an Express Portofino shirt. Um, if you find these, these do very well. This was actually kind of like a see-through 401, um, which I was amazed that a see-through something sold. But yeah, these shirts are really popular. They're pretty. Um, Express is now closing more stores. So just to keep that in mind, um, Express stuff might go up because people can't go into the store and buy it. Um, and I believe some of their stuff is already retired. So um, yeah, this might be something that is. But anyway, it sold on Poshmark for like $20. I think I had it listed for $25. That's around the price they go for. Um, after all is said and done, I made $16 even on it. But yeah, that is everything that sold out of the box. Um, I received a total of 30 items in a 25-piece box. So that definitely lowered my cost of goods to like $1.80 something. Um, and my buy cost was around $70. Um... I want to say I had credit to spend, like, that lowered it. It's usually $60 plus $9.99 shipping plus um, sales tax. Somebody did ask me about sales tax. I do not have a sales tax certificate anymore. I, I uh, dissolved my business last December 2023. I no longer pay dues for a LLC anymore, and I no longer sell under my, um, my LLC. So I do not have a sales tax certificate. Besides, I don't know how to submit one to thread up. I've never known how to do that. Um, but you can get a tax refund, sales tax refund, um, I believe, when you file your income taxes. You'll have to look into that, but I believe you can. Um, especially if you do like a small business income tax, you know, uh, filing. Um, I believe that's one of the things you can get credit for. Um, I'm not a tax expert though. You would have to go find that out yourself. <laughs> but anyway, um, my total profit on this whole box was $127.67. So if you technically deduct the $70, I made about $57.67, which isn't too bad. I only spent maybe two hours a week listing stuff. Um, did not take me a lot of time. So you know, $25 an hour isn't really too shabby. Uh, I already had all these supplies from my business a year ago. And yeah, I think it was a pretty good deal. I think the stuff I got was good. And I still have, I kept like 10 items um, for my personal use, which is great. And I just listed a couple, like at least 10 items. So you know, uh, selling one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items out of the box and getting my money back plus profit is not too shabby when I still have other stuff that still can be sold. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you want to see more. Thank you again so much for watching and I hope you be kind, be courageous, and be the best you. Bye.